How's it going guys? So this is going to be a very short clip as far as how to go through QBank more efficiently slash effectively. If you've been following my content for a while, by all means, I've put out over 1100 clips here on this YouTube. Then some of you watching this might say, Mike, you talk about the same things. Okay, well, for every one of you, I annoy, and then you unsubscribe from my channel because you think I talk about the same stuff. There's seven of you who haven't heard me discuss this stuff before, okay? How to go through QBank more effectively slash efficiently in 2023. All right, so do I have any updated uh, high yield tidbits, okay? I give you very fucking ace method for going through, especially if you start to procrastinate slash have ADHD while you're trying to make inroads through QBank, all right? So as far as how many questions per day, 40 to 80, tutor versus timed, random versus subject specific, just put out the last YouTube clip on that, all right? But for this clip, just if you're spacing the fuck out trying to make inroads through QBank, uh, how can you get through more effectively slash efficiently? And as I just fucking said, very fucking excellent method, all right? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. If I'm on Instagram, Melman underscore medical, MHL, man underscore medical, links down below. If I'm on Telegram, links to Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So getting through QBank more effectively slash efficiently. My method is having students do blocks of 10, okay? Now, 40 to 80 per day, as I said, blocks of 10 in tutor mode, random. And when you do blocks of 10, the phone in 2023 has to go in your backpack. Then you're gonna take your backpack. If you're at a cafe, you're gonna put it across the table on the other chair. Or if you're in your home studying in the library, literally goes across your fucking room under the cubicle, wherever you are. That's what we have to do in 2023. Okay, literally like, uh, you know, like kindergarten type shit. All right, because people will be three questions in to a block of 40, and the next thing you know, they grab their phone. All right, so you're gonna do a block of 10, phone goes away, and you are committing 100% to that block of 10 while you're in it. So no drink, no food. If you're at a cafe, you have your venti there, okay, from Starbucks. Literally, coffee is gonna go behind the computer, and you're not allowed to have any of it until you finish this block of 10. Once again, dumb shit, but it's what you have to do. So block of 10, you commit 100% to it. No phone, no drink, no food, and you'll be four questions in. Then 2023, we reflexively go, oh, fuck, where's my phone? Okay, that's right. It's in my backpack. I'm not allowed to touch it. So you're incentivized to be very efficient because you say, oh, I want to check my messages or, okay, I want my sip my latte there. So you're incentivized. You're gonna be very efficient through that block of 10. You finish the block of 10, then yes, I want you to take a break. Five minutes, seven minutes max, okay? Yes, take a break. Grab your phone, check your messages, go to the bathroom, have a quick bite uh, of your protein bar, have your coffee. Seven minutes later, you go committing to the second block of 10 and phone goes back in the backpack, et cetera, we repeat. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna have finished 30 questions and you'll be like, wow, it's only been like an hour and a half. Holy shit, I've been super efficient. That's what we have to do in 2023. Now, might sound dumb, but it works, okay? So students who have previously tried to get through 40, 80 questions and they just procrastinate, blocks of 10, and I know this because I created this method for myself when I was going through step two you world a, a decade ago, okay? It was boring as fuck. I was uh, studying over the summer at the time and I was trying to get through 80 questions per day and super fucking boring, as I said. So I did blocks of 10 and that's how I carved my way through the QBank and it worked for me, okay? And then it's worked for other students. So as I told you, not a dramatic clip here, I mean, it, it really is not uh, that big of a deal, but you need to know that if you are struggling to make inroads through QBank, getting ADHD or procrastinating, and you say, how am I going to uh, do this more effectively slash efficiently? Blocks of 10, tutor, untimed, random, very ace method for getting through AMBOSS slash UWorld. 
you know the deal. I'm just going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.